Hello all and welcome back. Hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to create this professional looking infographic design. Let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and then format our background. Right click and choose format background. Select fill type as gradient and change the direction. Make it a two step gradient. Change the gradient colors as shown. Now go to insert tab and select oval shape. Holding down Ctrl and Shift keys, draw perfect circle. Align this circle to bottom of slide. Increase its size if required. This circle defines our main scope of design. Make it no fill and change outline color. Duplicate this circle using Ctrl plus D and reduce its size holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. Make sure both circles are co-centric. Now select any one circle and align horizontal guide to define circle center. Go to insert tab or draw vertical reference line through center of circle. Now duplicate this line 4 more times using Ctrl plus D and arrange them at an angle of 40 degrees each. All lines must have common starting point, and that must be circle center. Now go to insert tab and draw rounded rectangle. Increase its roundness using yellow color edit point and make it no outline. Fill it with white color and align it to vertical reference line. Make sure this rounded rectangle touches the outline of smaller circle. Duplicate this rectangle 4 more times and align it to each reference line by rotating each by 40 degrees. Create a duplicate set of all these rectangle shapes, fill them with dark grey color and group them together. Now go to selection pane and hide this entire group. We will make use of this later to create shadows. Go to insert tab and draw a circle. Its dimensions must be equal to bigger reference circle. Holding down control key, select all 5 rectangle shapes and the center circle. Go to merge shapes option and fragment these selected shapes. Delete the center fragmented shape as it is not required.
Now change the colors of lower fragmented portion of each rectangle shape. Holding down control key, select all reference lines and delete them. Reduce the size of small reference circle and let's now create small circles over its outline. Go to insert tab and draw a small circle. Change its solid fill color and outline color as shown. Increase the outline width to 5 points. Align this circle to first rounded rectangle shape as shown. Now create the duplicates using Ctrl plus D, change the fill colors and align them to each rectangle shapes. Select both reference circles and change its outline color to white. Increase the width to 2 points and change the dash type as shown. Go to insert tab and draw a circle at the center. Again go to insert tab and this time, draw top corner rounded rectangle. Make it no outline and change its fill color. Send it to back and adjust it to previous circle as shown. Now change the solid fill color to white and then apply gradient colors to center circle. Change the gradient colors to white and slightly dark gray color. These steps are bit important to get proper effect. So I request your attention. Duplicate the center circle and make it co-centric. Reduce its size holding Ctrl and Shift keys, as shown. Let's apply gradient pattern to its outline. Make it a two-step gradient and change its direction. Now change the colors to same white and gray colors, but make sure their direction is opposite to solid fill circle gradient. Similarly apply gradient outline to bigger circle. Now apply shadow effect to bigger circle to give it a 3D look.
Increase the shadow size and blur values until you get desired effect. That looks beautiful. Remember we have hidden group of shapes? Go to selection pane and unhide it. Go to soft edges feature and increase its softness value until you get desired shadow effect. Please note, soft edges feature will not be enabled for group of shapes. Now adjust shadow size of each shape and send them back to give 3D look for main rectangle shapes. Finally add PNG icons and text fields to finalize our design. Let's speed up to save time. Remember to rotate text fields by 40 degrees each. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment.